Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Draw With Rob with me, Rob Bidolf. And for those of you that don't know me, I am a children's author and illustrator. Here's a couple of my books. This one's called Show and Tell. All about these kids who bring in strange and wonderful items for their class show and tell. That book's a lot of fun. Maybe you've seen this one. This was my second book ever and it's called Grrr, came out about five years ago, something like that. It's about this bear called Fred, who is a gold medal winning bear. And it's all about how he finds himself some new friends. And I wanna show you something very exciting. For fans of Draw With Rob, for fans of these videos, you might be interested in this fabulous activity book, which is published on the 9th of July, 2020. And it's really cool. It's packed with lots and lots of really fun activities. There's coloring pages. We've got lots of draw alongs, including this one of Kevin. And the edges of the pages are perforated, so you can see I've made this frame for you to do your drawing. You can just tear it out and stick it up on the wall. But there's lots and lots of fun things for you to do in this book here. And it's going to be available, yes, as I said, 9th of July, but you can pre-order it now. Or depending on when you're watching this, you can order it now from Amazon or Waterstones or for, from wherever you get your books. If there's a lovely little bookshop nearby, I recommend going to the bookshop and buying it directly from them. That would be really lovely. We need to support our high streets, don't we? So yes, you might well like that. Now, we are here today, surprise, surprise, to do a drawing together. And today we are drawing one of my favourite animals ever. If I could go into the wild and meet any animal in the world, I think I would love to meet these guys. We are going to draw a gorilla, particularly. I think it's going to be a mountain gorilla, actually, although it doesn't, I'm not really too sure about that. But we are going to draw a very majestic gorilla today. I would love to meet them. I remember seeing a David Attenborough documentary when I was younger and he went into the jungle. I can't remember where it was. I'll try and put up on the screen down here where it was. I think it, it might be, I'm not sure. I'm not even going to guess because when I guess I always get it wrong. But he went off into the jungle and he met this family of gorillas and it was just, even though they're these huge muscular things, they're really, really gentle, peaceful creatures. So, and they're a lot of fun to draw, hopefully, as we are gonna find out right now. Okay, so what you need, you need a piece of paper and something to draw with, a pen or a pencil, maybe something to color with a bit later on. I am gonna draw a little tiny bit of the drawing here, not too much, we're gonna do it, we're gonna break it down into little bite-sized pieces. Then you can copy exactly what I do, that little piece, then start the video up again, I'll draw a bit more, then you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw. It's my little catchphrase, isn't it? And then at the end, when we've put all those little tiny bite-sized jigsaw pieces together, we're gonna end up with a work of art, I promise you. Okay, Grilla, what is the first thing that we are going to do? Well, I will tell you, very simply, in the middle of our page, we're just gonna draw a horizontal line, like that. Five or six centimeters long. Lovely and easy way to start. Okay. Then, about half a centimetre in from the right-hand edge, I want you just to come down and draw a little curve, just like that, so like a little J shape, okay? Then we're going to do another one of these J shapes, but this time we are going to come down quite a long way further before we curve around. We're going to curve around right around this time, like that. We're going to start going back upwards. Okay, I'm going to go up a little bit higher actually, to about there. So about halfway, halfway up this edge of our J shape. That's where we're going to finish up. Then we are going to go straight back across, but not quite back to join up with here. So maybe just over halfway, pretty much straight line across like that. And then we are just going to curve our line upwards a bit and stop about there. You can see, because I'm using these brush pens, these are these Kurataki brush pens that I always go on about. Um, the reason I like them is because you can change the thickness of your line. So did you see, I don't know if you could tell, but I was just pressing much, much lighter with my brush and it gradually got thinner and thinner and thinner and went to a point. That's why I really love these pens. They're really easy to do that with. Okay, the next thing I want you to do, about half a centimetre in from this corner, I want you to draw just a short line going upwards and we're going to stop level with there, like that. Okay, 
And then we are gonna do a mirror image of that J shape that we drew right near the beginning, but we're gonna do it in a mirror image. So it's a bit more like, oh, I don't know what it's like. It's just a mirror image of a J. It's not really like any other letter, is it? So we're gonna come out and we're gonna go up and join back up with that first line that we did. Hopefully the gap there and the gap there is roughly the same. But again, don't worry too much if it's not, it will just add to the character of our drawing. Now then, I think I'm gonna to change to one of my other pens now, my thinner pen. And we are gonna add a couple of eyes for our gorilla. Now, our eyes are gonna be in these little sort of areas that we've created here. That's where our eyes are gonna sit. But we don't, I don't want to draw the eyes as a complete circle inside each one. I'm gonna draw them sort of, just sort of hiding into that top, sort of going into that top section, that line that we did, like that. So the circle is sort of like, butting up against that line. And it just makes it look like, you'll see as we go on a bit further, it makes it look like he's got this sort of heavy brow that's sort of just coming in front of the eyes a bit to make him look like, almost like he's frowning. Although he's not frowning because he's smiling, but it looks a bit like that. So his eyes are sort of hidden a bit by his brow. And then we are just gonna draw the pupil right in the middle of our eye, like that. And the gorilla is alive and awake and looking straight at us. Cool, I already like this chap. Now then, this I think is my favorite part of the whole drawing. It involves a couple of little swirly bits, which you know I love doing, but this is how we're gonna draw our gorilla's nose. This might seem a funny way of doing it to you, but it's a really good way of doing um, lots of kind of primate characters' noses. What you do, we're gonna start with a little swirl here. So we're gonna start here, and we're just gonna do a swirl that comes around like that, okay? And it's slightly left of center. And we're gonna continue our swirl down. We're gonna go around, back up, and then we're gonna do another swirl this way. And that's how we do our gorilla's nose. So swirl, down, around, swirl. And I just think that's quite a cool way of doing a gorilla's nose. I don't know why, it just seems to work. Okay, so there's our gorilla's face. Now then, we are now gonna draw the head of our gorilla. Now lots of, you might have wondered why I did the face first and not the head first. Well, sometimes, I don't always do it this way around, but I think more often than not, I do the features first and then the head afterwards, because sometimes you can draw the shape of the head and you might get it a bit too small for the features or something, and you have to then find yourself cramming everything in. So I quite often like to start with the features and then do the head afterwards, but not always. I mean, you have to, it really does depend on what you're drawing. But anyway, let's carry on, shall we? Now, what I want you to do, gorillas, they've got very sort of tall heads. That sounds strange, doesn't it? But they have, and they sort of go to a bit of a point. So what I want you to do is, you've got to imagine where the center of our gorilla's head is, and I want you to leave at least that length again at the top, actually a bit more. I'm gonna go up to about here. And so I'm going up from the center, up to about here, then I'm gonna move over very slightly, and I'm gonna start by just coming down a little bit, then going out like that to a similar length to where his jaw is. Then I'm gonna start coming down like that. Then I'm gonna go out again. So it's a bit like one of those sort of playground slides like that. And then I'm gonna come back round underneath the chin like that. And then when I get back towards the middle of his chin again, I'm just gonna do another swirl out like that. So a bit like that swirly outy bit we did at the top, I'm gonna to do it again at the bottom like that. And again, this is the nice thing about brush pens. Can you see my lines get a bit sort of thicker in this area here, but I really like that. And I even like it, can you see, you can sort of see my brush marks. It's not a perfectly smooth line, but I like that. I love it when it adds a little bit of texture like that. It just looks really cool, I think. Okay, now the next thing to do, let's go back up to the top. Right, what I want you to do here, we're gonna do a little tuft of hair. And the way we do that is we just do a few little lines. They don't actually touch each other. You just sort of come across like that. And that just sort of suggests a bit of a tuft of hair. So I've done four lines, like that. Then I'm gonna try and do the same shape as this, but in mirror image. So I'm gonna start with that little curved bit there. Then I'm gonna go along. I'm gonna start coming down like this. We're going out again. Back around, down, towards the middle. And again, we're just gonna have a little tufty bit down here. 
couple of little lines, just like that. And there we go. There is our gorilla's head. The good thing about this thick and thin thing, can you see here, I've got a little sort of bulgy bit. I don't really want it to bulge out, so I'm just gonna add a little bit there just to smooth out the shape, like that. And I think that works pretty well. Okay, now that we've got the head, the whole head shape in, I'm just gonna go back to that very first line that we did. I'm just gonna extend it, but I'm gonna extend it with a few little lines, like that. Because again, that just suggests that this is a sort of furry brow. You need to get these little lines there. By just doing a few little lines here and there, like that, it just suggests that our gorilla is covered in fur. I've told you this before, but us illustrators, we're a little bit lazy, so we don't like to cover the whole thing with fur necessarily. We just sort of add suggestions here and there. Right then. The next thing to do is we are going to draw our gorilla's arms. Now gorillas, they have these huge, powerful arms and powerful shoulders. And in fact, we are gonna do these arms coming right from here. That might seem very strange to you, but when I finish, you'll see it's gonna make our gorilla look like he's sort of hunched over because they, often they do that when they walk. Do you remember they sort of walk and they walk on their feet, but they also use their knuckles to kind of balance and help them walk. And that makes them so sort of hunch over, so you sort of see their shoulders sort of bunched up around here. So we are going to draw from about here, so about this area here, so maybe a centimetre and a half down from the top of the head, we are going to draw a great big curve, almost like a semicircle in fact. It's going to come right down around, past here and stop about there. So we're going to stop maybe, if you imagine, a centimetre lower than where the chin area is. We're just going to stop about there. Okay. Then, remember this little furry technique I've used? We're just going to add a little bit of sort of a furry sort of cuff there because this is going to be his arm. And then we are going to come back up around and we're just going to join up back there, sort of into his cheek. And that's going to be one of our gorilla's arms and we're going to try and do exactly the same. I might even add just a little bit of furry texture at the top of this arm here. But we're going to try and make it as similar as we can to that. Again, we're trying to keep it as symmetrical as possible. Symmetrical means, if you imagine I held a mirror up to that bit and it would be a perfect mirror image, that's symmetrical when it's exactly the same on both sides. That's what we want, but we're never going to get it perfect, so don't worry too much. We're going to come down again and let's add this sort of little furry cuff there. So there we go, there's our gorilla's two powerful arms. Now, remember I said they sort of walk on their knuckles as well as their feet. So this is how we're going to do that. It's going to be much simpler than it sounds. From here, we're just going to come down a little way. Then we're going to turn around and we're going to just go a little, oh, I've done a little smudge. We're going to go a little way past where our sort of furry cuff bit ends. And we're just going to go up and we're just going to join back up there. And then if we add just a little line coming down there, can you see it looks like he's sort of, his hand is curled up behind like that, as if he's walking on his knuckles. And let's do exactly the same on the other side. Comes down, around, goes past there, joins back up there, add a little line. And there we go. He's sort of walking on his knuckles, like that. So he's got all this huge, powerful upper body, and we are now going to draw his tummy and his legs, which are going to be much, much, much smaller. So what we're going to do for the tummy, we're going to come out from about here, and we're just going to draw a nice sort of semicircle coming round here, like that. You can add a little bit of those little dotted lines just to add a bit of texture, and we join up on the other side, like that. And that is going to be our gorilla's tummy. And then finally, for this little line drawing, we're going to add the legs. So what I want you to do is just where it turns around, just where it starts coming out, we're just going to add two little legs. We're going to add little cuff bits just above the feet again with these legs. So we're going to do one leg coming down like that with a little furry bit. And the other one again if you can get it similar to the first leg that you draw, drew but a mirror image that's perfect just like that 
And then the feet, I think we're gonna add a bit of character to the feet. Now, do you remember they've got, they quite often they have sort of thumbs on their feet too. And again, I'm not sure whether this is an actual thing, but it is in my world. I think it is. I think they have these opposable thumbs on their feet too, but we're gonna do the feet turning in like that. And then we're gonna add one, two, three, four, and a little thumb, like that. So it's like a little foot just turning in. And again, let's see if we can do the same on this side. We're gonna come down in a curve. And one, two, three, four, and then our little thumb. And look, there we go. We have our gorilla. Now I actually think this looks like our camera. If this was a photograph of the gorilla, the camera would be slightly above him. And the gorilla, we're looking down. You can see where his feet are on the floor. And he's kind of like tipping his head up towards us. That's almost what this looks like. Actually, I really like this drawing. He's looking cool, our gorilla, isn't he? And he's pretty simple. Pretty simple. If you've been doing it step by step with me, you should end up with something that looks very similar to this. Okay, now then. Just before we start colouring in, I'm going to add a little bit more fur texture to my gorilla. So the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to, let's have a think about this. I'm going to say that my light, the sun, if you like, is shining from over here somewhere. So it's shining that way, which means this side of our gorilla would be lighter and this side would be darker. And in those dark areas, I think you just get a little suggestion of the furry texture. So I'm just going to add Lots of little thin lines, just sort of around this side of my gorilla. Do you know what? Just so you don't have to watch me doing all these hundreds of lines, I'm going to go into super speed mode. Here I go. Okay, so there we go. I've added some furry line texture just down the right hand side of his head, the right hand side of the arm, the right hand side of that arm, a little bit on his tummy a little bit on each leg like that and I don't know if you can see I've added a few just under his brow and that just sort of lifts the brow forward a bit and makes his eyes look a bit more deep set but I think that's pretty much it for the line drawing part of our gorilla so now it's time to color our gorilla in as usual feel free to do use any colors you like the more colorful the better really but actually do you know what today I know lots of you you don't always have access to colored pencils or felt tips when you're drawing this maybe you're at school when you're doing it so I thought today I'm just going to, mine's going to be, I'm going to shade mine in, but I'm going to just use black and white today. I've done it a couple of times before, but feel free to make yours as colourful as possible. I love to see all the colourful versions, but I just want to show that you don't have to use colour if you don't want to. You can do it in black and white. So I'm going to use just sort of different shades of grey for mine. So I'm going to see you back here in 30 seconds or so as I go into super speed mode again to colour in my griller. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. There we are. There is my finished drawing of a gorilla. I think it looks pretty cool. I quite like the fact that I've done mine in black and white, just this once, but I'm really looking forward to seeing your hugely colorful gorillas. I can't wait to see them. I think this is gonna make a really nice grid this week. Now, we mustn't forget, must we, to sign our drawings. I'm gonna do mine down here, just where I smudged it to cover that smudge up. Oh, I'm gonna do my full name. It seems I didn't, I sort of forgot, I lost concentration. I just wrote my full name there. But there we go, our finished gorilla. He looks pretty cool. I hope you've enjoyed this Draw With Rob session. Don't forget to get somebody to take a picture of your drawings and then post it on Twitter and Instagram using the hashtag Draw With Rob. That way I'll get to see it. If you're watching on Facebook, you can post a picture in the comments below and then I'll get to see it. Or if you're watching on YouTube, just go onto one of the other social medias and use the Draw With Rob hashtag. And don't forget to see if your drawing makes the grid later on today. I've really enjoyed drawing with you, drawing this griller with you. I hope you've had fun. I'm gonna see you very soon for another Draw With Rob video. In the meantime, take care everyone. Bye bye. <laughs>